I am back. Um, first of all, I just wanted to say I cannot believe that my last video has like 500 views or something. It just blows my mind. Um, I haven't recorded in about a week or so. Um, I'm a very busy homeschooling mom of three, so I don't always have the free time to just relax when it's nice and quiet and uh, record a video. But I had the opportunity to do that today, so I jumped on it. <laughs> Um, we're going to be doing um, mandala work, dot mandala work, um, something like this um, with the petals and show you how to do the petal effect with just simple tools. Um, my last video I did the spiral, so if you're interested in seeing how to do this, check out my last video. So for today, let's get started. My guidelines to start. And I just used um, different cutouts to make the, um, the petals and the circles. And I'm using this kind of paint today. I get it at Walmart. And for some of these, I'm going to be using um, wooden dowels. And um, I got this set of crochet hooks. Um, Susan Bates is what I use. They have really good flat bottoms and that's what you need. So that's what I will be using today in various sizes. Oh, a little bit bigger. Maybe a little... Some of these colors aren't as um, strong and you can kind of see through them. Some of them are great, but some of them are not. So the ones that you kind of see through are just double dot. Like this orange. Just a larger size there again.
go with the white. Just regular white. And I'm going to get um, a bigger wooden dowel. Go in between the two. And then I'm going to walk around those with a dotting tool um, that I purchased. It's just a little round ball. I purchased this um, on eBay, I think it was. It could have been Amazon, but I'm pretty sure it was eBay. Just type in dotting tools and you'll find them. Oops, I need that white. And it just naturally will get smaller for you. And then I just re-go over the same dot once and walk it down on the other side. Just count it out. One, two, three, four, five. 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 You can go down further if you want. That's up to you. One, two, three, four, five. I just use a wet, old wet rag that I've got tons of paint on to clean my dotting tools as I go. And next we're going to use a darker pink for the points. I'm just going to walk these down for the most part with these and then I'll use the dotting tool at the end. So, just dip it. Start at the top. side of it. Looks size smaller. And again, with a size smaller. And 
and then just the dotting tool, the largest one. It's pretty small, but oh well. I'll just go down four from there. I'll double dip the first dot. Just a little bit bigger than what it's given me for the first dot, so I just double dot it. I triple dot it. We're going to do that whole set again with a light blue. Starting with the biggest. See, and depending on the paint, the thickness of the paint it actually looks a little bigger than the biggest pink. But that's okay. It doesn't really matter. It will still be pretty. Next size down. Go on either side. Wipe it off. Next size down. On either side. And the dotting tool. One last time with a light purple. And I won't start with such a big um, crochet hook. I will start with a smaller one. Now you have to be careful so you don't put your hand in the wet paint because <laughs> now it's wet all over the place. Get your smaller crochet hook and dot next to the biggest one. go right for the dotting tool. the dotting tool and we're going to go with a light green
And I'm going to use the dotting tool and I'm going to go along this line. And I start in the middle and make the biggest dot. Actually, I should probably use um, a crochet hook. Let's use the smallest crochet hook for the very middle and then we'll. That's not the smallest. Let's use a smaller one. Let's use a smaller crochet hook. And for the very middle, and now we use the dotting tool on either side and go walk it just down from the big dot. Now we're going to move to the biggest crochet hook that I have. And I'm going to go with a light pink, I think, around, it's the same light pink that's right there. I'm going to go around this line. All in the same size. And I'll just start here. say some color right out here. So let's do some white and we'll do a light purple. And let's just do the same big size first. And then let's go with the dotting tool. One, two, 
Do the last color a light purple that same light purple that we have uh, right above the white there I usually do is I'll let that dry that mess up let it dry and just paint over it with a really small brush and just the same black that's on the back there I'll we'll go straight with the dotting tool one two three one two three And that's it folks other than my mess up there that I gotta paint over that is the finished product well here's the final product I hope you like it um, if you would, leave me uh, comments and let me know what you would like to see in future videos. See you next time!